Hi everybody, welcome to episode one of the Ultimate Tech Vlog. This vlog will discuss tech issues from gaming, computer components, to networking, anything tech related. So today, episode one, we're going to talk about the PlayStation Xbox console shortage and restock issues. I want to talk about two negative effects that this is having on the industry and on consumers. The first is the consumer issue. And that is the frustration and the anger of trying to get these consoles. Uh, it's happening with most of the stores. Most retailers are having issues controlling their purchasing online, meaning the bots are able to buy these consoles and basically store them in their house, in their dining room, stacking them up 200, 300, 400 consoles, and then selling them on eBay for a huge markup. Now, I, don't, I have no problem with people doing this, but the problem I'm having is the retailers are not selling them correctly so that consumers have a chance to buy these consoles, legitimate consumers, not people trying to sell them and resell them, but consumers who want to play the games, who want to buy a couple of games and enjoy, or who want to buy for their children or their grandchildren or for the niece and nephew. It's difficult uh, to do this, and especially if you're older, you're really never going to have a chance. Now, if you're younger and you, you're really good with technology, you're really savvy, you may have a better chance to buy these consoles. And I'll have a link right here to my video on how to buy a PlayStation 5, my technique that we used to buy the PS5, and we got it from GameStop, by the way. Um, but yes, it's the retailers are dropping the ball on this, especially the big ones, Walmart, Best Buy, Target, they're dropping the ball. They should be at least monitoring these websites and doing random queues, so when they drop some stock, they can say, you can log in and it'll be a random queue and everybody gets a chance to get in that random queue versus just these bots coming in and crashing the websites. Several times at Walmart, I would get online and I would get the, the PS5 in the, in, the, uh, in the checkout, in the cart and get ready to check it out and I would click on and get ready to put my information in and, and check out and it would just crash. And it happened several times. And also I went on Instagram and uh, Twitter and people complained about the same thing. So it wasn't just me, it was a bunch of people having the same issues because these bots are able to basically just buy up all the, uh, the stock. So it's pretty frustrating for consumers that can't get these consoles and it's, it's, it's frustrating, I get it. So the next negative effect is the negative effect to the industry versus say for Sony and for Microsoft. There's a big negative effect here because when they sell a console, they're not making a lot of money on these consoles. And generally they don't make any money. A lot of times they lose money because they know in the long run you're gonna buy a bunch of games. And I would assume that they're probably thinking when you buy a console, you're gonna buy two games. And these games are about 70 bucks a piece. So you're gonna spend about 140, maybe 150 bucks on two games. And that they're thinking when they sell a console, that's what you're gonna do. The problem is, when they sell a console online, you know, bots grab it up and they, they're stored in someone's basement until they can sell them on eBay. There's no games being sold. They're not selling any games. And I'm sure they're seeing that in their numbers. And, they're, and, the, and the numbers are pretty bad right now for them as far as selling games. And that's what they wanna do. Consoles, they're not making much money, I guarantee it, they're making a little bit of money, but they're making the money on the games. And if they can't sell the consoles to legitimate consumers who are buying these to play the games, if some guy in, in Germany's got, you know, a thousand consoles in his dining table trying to sell them on eBay, well, those, that's a thousand games, or maybe 2,000 games. Say it's two games per console, it's 2,000 games they haven't sold. Multiply that times $70 a game, that's huge. So it's a huge negative effect on the industry these retailers really need to get together and they need to figure out how to sell these consoles better. And I'm not sure if they ever will or if they even care. They just want to get these consoles out. They don't care who buys them, but they should care because these retailers also sell games. Walmart sells games, so does um, Target. Now, people are buying digital games, obviously, but if you buy a console edition like I bought with the drive in it, the uh, DVD drive, Blu-ray drive, I'm buy, I like to buy physical copies, and most people really like to buy the physical copies. I think physical copies are the way to go. I like having a collection. You know, see a stack of, of, uh, of games. It's old school. I'm kind of old school. I'm 50, so I, I like that old school feel of having the game in your hand and the look. Um, but they're missing out. They're missing out on, on selling accessories, missing out on selling a lot of things by allowing these bots to come in and grab up all the consoles. And maybe P PlayStation and Xbox could have send emails to these retailers, hey, this is what you need to do, do random queues, monitor your retail website better. Um, they've got billions of dollars, these Walmart, there's no excuse for Walmart or Target or Best Buy not to have these implemented before all this 
came about. I mean, in November, it's ridiculous. So I really believe that we're gonna see shortages all the way to the end of summer. Because once summer hits and everybody's out of school, they're gonna be buying more consoles. I just imagine we're not gonna see a legitimate, you won't be able to go into a store and see a console in a display case, I don't think until probably, I would guess August, September, maybe. Maybe, we'll see though. I mean, that's, right now if you go into anywhere, any store, you'll never see anything in, in a display case. They're all sold out. Even the accessories are sold out pretty much. So it's a huge issue here. I hope that they can figure this out soon, but I doubt it. And what, give me your opinion down below. What do you think? Do you think that, that we'll see some stock restocking issues, you know, until maybe after summer? Or do you think before? Do you think they're gonna get this figured out? Maybe retailers will, will figure out how to sell these to legitimate consumers? Um, but let me know down below. So, all right guys, I appreciate you watching and thank you again and uh, peace out.